Hey guys, I'm Marty Geek and this video is going to be the first time I actually add a micro SD card to my ROG Ally and I just wanted to share with you guys just in case you're interested in getting one of these and you want to add more storage to it. So this is a very cheap way to actually do it. You can also replace the internal SSD which is an M.2 2230 size, the smaller SSD just like the Steam Deck. But this is the cheaper, easier version. Um, I got a 256 because I my camera actually needs a new micro SD card. So this is going to eventually be for my 4K camera, right? Because my camera has a, a lot smaller uh, uh, card. And I really want to get a big card for my systems. So on my Steam Deck, I have a 512 gigabyte plus the internal storage, which is 64 gigabytes. On the this ROG Ally, I'm actually going to have more storage when you think about it because the internal storage is 512 and I'm going to add this, which is going to go all the way up to around 760 gigabytes, which a lot better. Also, keep in mind when you get one of these cards, uh, make sure the card is actually ha has the U3, A2, V30, 4K. Uh, that way it can, you know, you're guaranteed that it can load game and run games a lot better. I always choose brands like SanDisk, Samsung, Plex, Plex, I think, it, it, Lexar, Kingston. Those are good brands. Uh, here, this is where you're going to put the micro SD card. So we're going to put it for the first time. Is it this way? Let me see. Okay, yeah, that's the way it goes. Right here, I'm in desktop mode. Uh, this pops up. You can usually tap on that and it'll load up the storage. But we're going to do it this way, right? So you guys can see. Go here. I always like to reformat the card because sometimes uh, these cards I actually include stuff that you don't see. Tap on hold. Uh, let's see. Format. Format. And I'm going to go format to two, 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 N F N T F S N T F S. Okay. N T F S. And we're going to go in format and format. And there you go. Of course, if you're using a used car, make sure you actually don't have anything there because if you do, it's going to erase everything. So just make sure you do that. So yeah, that once it's done, you're good. Now, let me check something. Let me go to crate. Okay, it says, look at that. External micro SD card detected. Do you want to set it as uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, I didn't know that message was, was going to pop there. So let's go ahead here to system storage and look at that. You got device info, you got storage, and now you have both visible. You got the internal local and you got the external, which is 238 in reality. Uh, save media location, make screenshots and recording. Okay, it says move all media to local storage. Move all media to external storage. Okay, it says external. Here, media, save location, external. Oh, look at that. You can actually switch the location for media. That media, well, basically, I believe it's the, like the screenshots and video that you record using the buttons. I guess now it can switch to external. So right now, for example, let me see something. I can move all the things that I've done so far. Are you sure you want to move it? Yeah. Boom. So right now, all the screenshots that I've already taken is moving it. Is moving it over here to the card. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So one thing that you, you should know is that when you... Um, let's see. when you, Let's go to Xbox and try to see and install a game. We're most likely going to have a message... Oh, look at this. This is loading kind of weird there. Yeah, clean this up. Oh, look at that. Why did it load like that? Holy crap, that's weird. Let's try that again. <laughs> that was weird, the way it loaded up. So on Microsoft, right, it's very. It's going to be very easy. You, let's go and choose a game, like one of the most recent game, a small game here. Let's choose install because I think let's see install and now here like see it says change 
by default is going to be trying to install the games on your internal card because you never had a card before but now you could go ahead click here it says change and you could go ahead and choose folder right and uh we're gonna choose selected folder it's already selected select oh no, i gotta choose a folder then i guess i have to create one here i'm gonna have to create a new folder right new folder and i'm gonna have to change the let me see click that it's gonna write xbox games okay we're done there we're gonna select that folder xbox games look at that so now we have drive c and drive d and the, the folders are going to install the games is xbox game so we're going to choose that and we're going to choose install so the games are actually going to install now on that folder if i choose to right if i choose to so let's go ahead now that's downloading right uh, that's going to take a while there it's not that big either it's around 3.2 gigabytes which is good enough and that's what i'm going to use my external memory card i'm just going to use it for indie games old games which are smaller most of the times when you load steam deck steam deck steam is going to be in in mobile mode or in big picture mode which is this i keep it calling it steam deck or mobile mode because that's the mode the steam that actually loads to uh but here you won't be able to select the folder proper folder to install so you're gonna have to go back here or you can actually press the back button over here the b button and switch to exit big picture this is what big picture is called big picture mode so here we're going to tap to the steam button over here steam i usually like to use my my uh, mouse but we're using our finger this time um, here we're going to go to settings and here we're going to go to storage and here you see that you only you only see one storage location which is the default storage location right and then there's a plus button right there. Oop, did I hit the plus button? No. There you go. So now it's telling us add a new Steam library folder. Okay, external. Look at that. It actually recognized that there is an external storage available. We're going to select that. Select that. Add. Boom. There you go. So now when I install games, see, there's no game installed there. There's a game installed over here, not over here, over here. So now we're done. We don't have to do nothing here with Steam. So now if we go back to, let's see, let's go back to desktop. Um, big picture mode. Man, I don't like the fingerprints. I don't like my fingerprints here in here. Okay. So now we're here. Let's go and see to install a small game. I don't want to waste too much time here. Installing a big game. Okay, straight lights, which is a small game. Okay, straight lights, seven gigabytes. Let's go choose install. Now we have the options. Look at that. Now we have the options to install on the external. And there you have it. So now the game, that game is actually installing inside of the inside. Let's see, can we see it from here? No. But but it doesn't really say we're installing there, but I believe. Let me see. If we go to settings, we might be able to see the game here being installed already. There you go. There you go. Location where the game is being installed is in the in external card. And that's it, guys. I just wanted to share those tips uh, for those adding a micro SD card here on the ROG Ally. Make sure you actually do that. Same thing applies to all the other like Ubisoft and Epic Launcher, most likely you're gonna have to choose the folder you're gonna wanna install to. And that's it, very easily self-explanatory in my opinion. And guys, I'll leave links, of course, in my descriptions for these cards or any other great card you can actually get. Like I said, I always recommend getting SanDisk, Samsung, PNY, pro you know, popular known brands because you, you know, I don't know, I value my money. I don't know if you guys do, but I value my investments. So thanks for watching this video. Till next time. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments.